So this next group is uh, We Learn. The challenge we were given was how might we leverage open content and data and research to transform teaching and learning. The solution, We Learn. We Learn is a web and mobile interface that contextually matches learners, mentors, and resources to facilitate lifelong learning. Now, Karen is going to tell you a bit more. One unique aspect of WeLearn is that it works across two different continua, both from formal education and formal learning settings to informal settings. Okay. And additionally, we're looking at working and engaging with learners across the lifelong learning spectrum. So from we'll assume zero to 100 in this case. And so what we learn does briefly is intersect with this existing and emerging world of open resources and makes the connections based on the content or the context and the ability and interest of the learner. Laura. So there are really three components and what is I think so exciting about our project is the three components are really actionable right now. It's stuff that's out there. So number one, we have the OER resources and really we just need to tag those and have a powerful search engine that can aggregate those for us. So that's number one, an aggregator. Number two is we need to have a dashboard, a dashboard for the profile of the individuals wherever they are on that spectrum that can be tailor-made and live with that learner over the course from zero to 100 and then any context that they're in. Then the third part is this matching algorithm. And we all know that that's going on right now. Matching algorithms are out there working for us right now. So we want to partner with somebody who can actually make those matches across the resources, whether they be people, whether they be scholarly resources, say at MIT, Stanford, that are open, whether they be resources that have been remixed and contributed and vetted by groups that we have here. So as we launch this product, uh, the, the first stage, we would be looking to partner with, uh, with a number of different organizations across this continuum of formal to informal and age zero to 100. Uh, so we might reach out to organizations like community colleges, uh, senior centers, uh, K to 12 teachers, uh, and mom and tot organizations, or any number of other uh, kinds of organizations that could work with us to iterate the, pro the product and make sure that it's matching real needs. And moving forward, we'll uh, continue to, to refine and improve the product through uh, embedded uh, feedback tools that the, that the uh, students will use when they're using the resources. And we'll also engage with an outside evaluation firm who will evaluate our an overall system so that we can continue to make it better. Some questions. Karen, can I get you to introduce yourself? Karen Jackson. Great. Uh, and tell me, so, you know, I guess uh, Twitter has algorithm, Google has an algorithm. What's your algorithm going to tell me? Or the student? Well, the algorithm will take the input from who, this, who the learner is, kind of where they are in their life, what their setting is, and what they're looking to learn, whether it's um, a small concept or a large concept, and then it will interact with this C of open content resources and make recommendations um, for that specific learning, but then also the algorithm will learn um, kind of in the Pandora way, what's worked for you in the past, what kinds of learning styles, what kinds of resources, do you work better with gaming contexts or video contexts, and will continue to kind of populate your learning opportunities based on um, your progress. So it could be everything, like you said, uh, on the spectrum from uh, learning to build a birdhouse to learning algebra. Exactly. It could be um, adult learning, those looking to um, learn new skills to get into a new career or profession. It could be um, a parent looking to work with a two-year-old child on some motor skills. And so whatever that learning need is, um, the algorithm can take that information. And again, those resources are currently available. And so it's just a matter of making them more convenient um, and appropriately located for the learner. Great. Thanks so much.